Hello everyone and welcome to Let's Play 2048. In this video I'm going to basically explain my strategy for beating the game, or at least having a high success rate for beating the game, and I'll also try to explain um, what to do if you ever have problems with the strategy. Um, this game, for if you are aware, these are the basic rules. Um, random tiles will show up here. You'll start off with two tiles, and every time you move the tiles down, the free spaces and one of the free spaces are going to spawn either a 2 or a 4. So your goal here is to combine light values as quickly as possible. Um, well, not as quickly as possible, rather. Um, as efficiently as possible, so that you can basically increase the values of the tile so that you can get to a 2048 tile. So it's pretty straightforward. Now, here comes the strategy. Basically, the strategy is simple. You want to pick a corner here and you want to make sure your highest valued tile is in that corner. In the beginning, the best way to do that is to either press down or to the right, down and to the right, and keep doing that back and forth. And over time, that highest valued tile will always be in the uh, corner. For demonstration purposes, I'm going to pick this corner, so keystrokes and key presses are going to be relative to this corner. Now, as this happens and you press down and to the right over and over again, mostly what's going to happen is the far right column is going to start filling out. And you'll kind of see a pattern emerge here. Okay, now we've gotten to a point where we can no longer press down and to the right. And the only method, only uh, keystrokes that we can press are going to be up and down or to the left. Now, I want you to prioritize in your head these sets of moves, three sets of moves. The first move is going to be down and to the right. So that's your first set of moves. That's your priority move. These are your go-to moves. These are the moves you want to do no matter what. The next move, up and down, I'm not going to press it just yet, are going to be your secondary moves. Try to avoid pressing up and down until this column is filled out. Now, the third move is a forbidden move. It's a last resort move. It can really screw you up, and that move is left in this case. Why do I mean by that? Well, imagine this column, this row here, sorry, isn't filled out, and you moved it to the left. What would happen? You'd have a chance for a tile to be randomly generated here, and so your highest tile would be pushed out of the way. So it would take you a long time to fix that. So definitely avoid that at all costs, if possible. And the best way to avoid that is just to think a little ahead. Now, when you get stuck and you can no longer move down or to the right, think about it. We can either move up or down, or we can move to the left. Since I want to keep this column the same, I'm going to move up. And I'm going to start filling out the columns here. And you can see here we're starting to really chain things out. Now again, what I mean by chaining is when you have a tile like like for, well let me get to it for example okay you have a 4 8 and 8 becomes a 16 and 32 and what you can do is 8 16 32 64 and eventually you'll be able to chain it so that uh, this 128 will double now we can no longer go down and to the right anymore and we have two options we can either move left or up now if we move left or up then there's a chance that a tile could form here, and that could be a problem. So in this case, I'm just going to move up and hope that a tile doesn't form here. And it didn't. So basically, you're going to have to rely on luck on some of this. Now, the way the AI works is that in case that happens, it'll actually actively try to switch this to another corner. And I haven't mastered that art just yet, but in some cases, you can do that without a problem. Okay. Okay, here we're going to be able to chain this and effectively double that to a 256. So that's what I mean by chaining. And you can see here a pattern is going to start developing here where um, we're going to try to push this 8 to a 128, this to a 64, etc. So hopefully that's going to be our strategy. Or at least that's going to be what's going to happen. With the randomness involved, sometimes things, well, won't go to plan, but... That's life. We deal with it.
Okay, right here I went ahead and moved that to a 32 just so I could uh, bypass that and move it over. Now there's going to be certain stages to the game. The first stage is to get to about a 256 tile. Once you do that, um, you're really going to have to worry about where this tile gets uh, pushed. If it gets pushed out of the way because something spawns here, um, before this point it's kind of easy to get to 128 or 256 to fix it. But at this point it's going to take a lot more effort to fix it. So definitely um, pay attention to what you're doing. Now we can have a 16, a 32, and we're good. Methodically think about your moves as well. Methodically think about what you can do and what you can't do with the tiles available. Now we can chain this further, and now we have our first 512 tile. You can see I'm actively trying to get this column filled out as quickly as possible. Or as early as possible, I should say. And now we can chain that. So now our next goal is going to be getting this to a, hopefully a 32, or this to a 128. Okay, so this is a 32, so hopefully we can push this to a 64 and this to a, maybe a uh, 32. Apologize if the frame rate's a little slow. It's uh, using Camtasia and it's kind of... Uh, a little slow sometimes in recording the browser. But you should be able to figure out what I'm doing here. Okay, now this is a 32, and so if we push this 32 up here, we could easily chain it. We may, be, we may not be able to do that just yet, um, but we may be lucky. We may be uh, able to do that soon enough. Okay, now we got two fours here and two fours here. We should we should be able to chain this to two sixteens, a thirty two, sixty four, one twenty eight, two fifty six. So we're good there. I'm gonna go ahead and jump the gun and push the sixty four there. And now, um, if this can become a one twenty eight we can start chaining it even further. And that's going to be our next goal. Should we or should we not reach it? Well, that remains to be seen. Okay, so then that, now that's a 128, so that's good. Our next goal is going to be push this to a 64, hopefully. Okay, now this is a 64. Our next goal, of course, is going to be pushing this higher, yet higher again. If we push it to a 128, we can chain this to a 1024, so hopefully we'll be able to do that. Okay, now we've got this to 128, we can chain it a little bit more. And now we have a 1024 tile, which is great. Believe it or not, this only means we're halfway there. we still got a long way to go. But with this strategy, we should be able to fix it. With my current pattern right now, 
we've got an issue. Um, we can't press uh, down and to the right anymore. We can only press left, which is a forbidden move, or up and down. If we press up and down, we still have a chance for a tile to be pushed over here. If we go left and right, or left, then we have a chance for a tile to be pushed here. Um, I don't want the tile to be here. I'd rather the tile, if at all possible, to be here. But we still have a good chance for it to not be there. So I'm going to press up, and a tile uh, spawned over here, so we're good. This is why even um, good strategies um, can fail sometimes, because they have that issue. Uh, it's sometimes difficult to control uh, or predict where the uh, random tile will be, gener will be generated, if you will. So... Okay. At this point, once you have a 1024 tile, you kind of want to stay ahead of the curve. Every move you make, make it deliberate. Don't go into autopilot at this point, or you will not win the game. Unless you're really, really good. Okay, now we can just, if we can get this to a 4, to an 8, 16, we can do that. Good. Now you can see why it's a little difficult to get things to chain, because you need more and more tiles to, um, you need more and more tiles to uh, get to higher values here. But we're okay so far. And now we can chain this 128 to a 128. So that's good. Now you may think it's a problem they have a 64 over here, but we should be able to either join the 64 up here or over here eventually. But we will need to get rid of that 64 in that column eventually. And we should be able to get rid of it now. We should. So there we go. When you have a, a high value tile um, in this column and the third column compared to the fourth, it can be an issue. So you want to get rid of that as quickly as possible. Definitely. And sometimes you want to pass obvious areas of advancement just to focus on a particular area. Like I'm focusing on this corner right here because I want this tile to be as high as possible. High a value, that is. So now this can be that we can get rid of that 64, which is good. And we can turn this to a 256 to a 512. Now we're getting closer. Our next goal is doing, going to be turning this to a 256, this tile. So it's going to take a little bit of effort. But you can kind of see my strategy here. I'm basically chaining this corner right here as quickly as I can. Um, sorry, as effectively as I can. Uh, remember, time is not... Um, well, it doesn't count against you if you want to use as much time as possible when you're thinking out your moves. So you might as well think them out a little bit. Okay, so we got a 64 to 128. If this can be turned into a 256, we should be golden. Okay, now this is a 64, and so 
it's going to become easier and easier to get this uh, value, the values that we need, sorry. So 16 here, 32. So we can combine the 32s to 64 to 128 to a 256. And now we are in the home stretch. So we should be okay. This board looks really good. Unless something really screws us up, which could happen. But hopefully we won't jinx ourselves any. Okay, so we have a 32 here. So we've got to get this to a 128. Eventually. If we have a 64 here, uh, or a 32 here, we should be able to do that, so... This becomes an 8, 16, 32, 64, so we're pretty close now. We may have this in the bag, but I don't want to jinx it just yet. This becomes a 16 and a 32. Now all we need to do is to get this to a 32, and we've gotten it. So hopefully we can do that. Okay, so this becomes a 32, 64, 128. Now we are in um, the last stretch of the game. Uh, we basically just need to chain this uh, to a 128 and uh, we'll be okay. But once you have this column here, um, your odds of winning the game are very good, but you still need to pay attention to what you're doing. I mean, I wouldn't uh, start um, going on autopilot just yet. So if we can just get a 32 here, we should be okay. Okay, now this is all filled out, so we can kind of um, do this here. And 32s can be here, and this can combine into 64 here. Um, if we could just get that 128 up there, um, you know, we're not going to be able to do that, but Maybe, maybe, I don't know. I basically just needed some space, so at this point it's going to be um, make or break time, really. Okay, so that's good. This combines there, this combines there to a 16 and 32, 64, so we're good there. And a 16 there. We just need another 8. Um, 8, 16, 32. Now we've got it. This 120 becomes a 256, and we chain it, and we chain it, and we win. And uh, thank you so much for watching, and have a good day. Bye.